Hi, welcome to the SQL tutorial video. And today I'm going to show you a, a solution to a, a problem that I had um, earlier on this week with regards to um, stopping inserting duplicate data into a table. Now there are numerous kind of ways of achieving this. Um, you can set things up within the table to, to, to make sure certain fields um, have got to be unique and in which case it, SQL itself will stop um, inserting data into the table but I had a, a page with a lot of code on and I wanted to get to a particular point where it tried to do an insert and it just would resolve itself if it couldn't do an insert it wouldn't do one there's other ways of doing it where before you actually try and do an insert um, you can do a check do a count does this already exist in the table and if it doesn't then insert it otherwise do it but I wanted a single piece of code that did it for me in one kind of um in one insert statement if you like so let me show you um as an example i've got this table here in my training database it has um six columns and i want to insert a seventh this test office um so if i click insert i can insert my test office there um, as you can see but currently the way the table is set up if I try and insert it again and again and again, I will create duplicates um, of that office. And I don't want that. I want to stop that. Like I said, I can write this a piece of SQL to say, does it already exist, this code? And if it does, don't insert it. But I wanted to try and do it in one piece of SQL. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, so... First of all, I start with my insert into, as I've got above, but instead of saying values, I'm going to use a select. So I've got other videos of inserting data into tables where you say, insert into my table, select values from another table. And this is kind of what we're going to use to achieve this. So I'm going to say select top one, and I'm going to grab the data that I want to insert. Now, if I just highlight that and I run that, it's going to get for me that list of data. And I can, at this point, say, all right, insert into my table, select that value, and you'll see that um, there's a value. Okay, but that's not what we want to do. So let me just undo that. So... Okay, that works. I'll select top one and, and, and my values. Um, but in order to get what I need to do, I need to do a join to, in this case, the same table. And then I'm going to do where not exists. Select star from the same table again, where office code equals and I'm going to use all of that there. So if I were to do this select here, um, it doesn't exist. So when it does my not exists um, um, piece of code here, the not exists says, okay, the result of here, does it exist or doesn't it? And right now it doesn't exist. So this not exists executes this piece of code that's within the brackets and if it doesn't exist in this case i mean i could i could take that off and put exists but in this case i'm doing um not exist so as long as this doesn't return any data then it's happy and it will run so if i run this it returns me that list here if i were just here to insert that data and i try and run that select again it won't return anything because the data exists. So this not exists um, stops the code from running because it, because this value exists, it stops this outer piece of code from executing. Okay, so if I just oh so if I just delete that value again, so now if I execute this whole piece here. Um, it says one row affected. If I try it again, zero rows. And oops, as long as that value now exists, this 
where clause, this not exists clause here, will stop it inserting a duplicate value for that office code. Um, and if I just show you, there it is. One value and one value only. Um, and if you need to, if it's not just about one value, but it's about multiple values, then you can say and um, office name. And this will do the same thing. Um, you know, making sure that the values that you're kind of testing for here match the values that you're inserting. Because if you get that wrong, if it's going to do a check against something test two, but you insert in test one, well, in that case, this here um, will never ever exist because you're looking for something called test two and you've been sitting somewhere called test one. So you need to make sure that whatever values you're using here, you have here as well. Otherwise, you'll start inserting an awful lot of rows here. So um, I hope that made sense. I hope that's maybe a solution um, to a problem that you might have. Not necessarily the, the solution, the best solution to you know to every problem. There's different ways of doing it, but it is a solution. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for your time. See you next time.